Hello, I'm Dr. Carlos Quanche. I'm a hip arthroscopy specialist at the Southern California Orthopedic Institute. I'm one of only a few physicians around the country that does complex hip arthroscopic procedures, including labral repairs, femoral neck resections, bursectomies, abductor repairs, as well as hamstring tendon repairs. Hip arthroscopy is a procedure whereby we're able to get deep into the hip with the use of very small incisions that are only three or four millimeters in size. In most situations, surgical procedures that used to be performed with very large five and six inch incisions are now done through these limited invasive procedures. The ideal candidate for a hip arthroscopy is a patient that has had symptoms including pain and catching in their groin, pain with rotational activities, and inability to perform sports activities despite having had conservative measures in the form of injections in the joint, physical therapy, as well as activity modification. Those patients really benefit from the procedure. The advantages of hip arthroscopy include the fact that most patients will come in, have the procedure, which takes about an hour, and go home the same day. They're very um, active immediately postoperatively. They're on crutches typically for four weeks, but they're able to walk on their leg and just limit their rotation. This is as opposed to the typical open procedures where we actually do the procedure in the hospital, the patient has to stay several days, and they're limited in their ability to get around and really continue on with their day, -day activities. Once the patient is seen in the office and we've done the appropriate teaching and have provided them with the literature regarding the hip arthroscopy procedure, it's simply a matter of making the phone call or speaking directly to our practice coordinator. In those situations, the time will be found for the surgical procedure at the patient's convenience. We usually see the patient uh, a day or two before the procedure as well to do a preoperative clinic visit to discuss any concerns that they may have regarding the surgical procedure. In most situations, the recovery process for the hip arthroscopy procedures includes about four weeks of limited activities. Uh, we usually start the patient postoperatively in physical therapy about 10 days. Uh, they are using crutches for four weeks, but they are putting all their weight down and just not rotating on the leg. Most of the time therapy goes on for twice a week for about three months. By about six weeks, most patients are riding an exercise bike. We start transitioning them to an elliptical trainer and possibly even a treadmill. By three months, they get the green light to go back to all their sports and all of their high-impact activities.